being situated there in Wilberforce, surrounded by those students, those universities, it's nothing but opportunities to, to teach and to learn from, from those students as well. We do a lot of training uh, to get them into public history, into archives, libraries, so it's, it's fun. I actually would not want to be anywhere else. Mm -hmm. A lot of people still don't realize what we bring to the table, um, but uh, exhibit development, uh, research, we do a lot of that all over the state. It's not just centered in Wilberforce. Uh, we also, like I said, we train students to really get them into public history. It's so important to not just study history, but to share it and present it to the public. So that's one of the things we do, museums and library science as well. Um, but we also collect uh, not just three-dimensional artifacts, but we have a world-class archive located there as well. And we have researchers come literally from all over the world to do research there. With our exhibits, we actually do exhibits in Wilberforce and other parts of the state as well. So for example, the Rife Center, we currently have an exhibit called Ohio Diaspora. And that exhibit is, is phenomenal because it focuses on African-American artists who are Ohioans who are actually alive. A lot of these exhibits, um, you have artists who may have passed on you know, years ago, but are still famous and relevant. Sure. Um, but this focuses on our people here in the state who are still alive, you can talk to, they can discuss their art. Uh, and they're not just regionally known or nationally known, but they're internationally known. I'm, I'm thinking of Bing Davis or Jimmy Jones, people like that mm -hmm. that you really want to sit down and have a conversation with.